Hi everybody, it's Scarlet Pete. Welcome to my channel on self-sufficiency. Today's a bit of an emotional day because today's the day we said goodbye, or we say goodbye to our lovely cemental cow. She's um, sitting here, oops, in the stable waiting to be dispatched. Now, I won't go and talk over her, we'll go and talk over another cow and explain what our decisions are and why we're having to make this very sad emotional choice. If you have a look how big she is before I go, she's humongous. This didn't feel so comfortable talking over the cow on this horrible day. So she's been with us a number of years. We've had her since she was a little girl and little girl, little calf. And sadly, she's too big for us. We've had to decide to put her in freezer camp because, well, one, she's so huge and hefty. She's um, put her horns once in my jugular vein and I was very lucky not to be killed. Another time she's dragged my husband and ended up breaking his ribs she's like it's like owning an elephant and a pony the ponies over there look in the field the little black and white cow and the jerseys but she is an elephant to handle and because of her size it puts us in a great deal of danger handling her every day bringing her in for milking that would have been if she got into calf She's never come into season. We've never been able to get her in calf. The vet's been, and there is no chance of getting her in calf. So that leaves us with the only one option of, well, two, keeping her for a long time and putting ourselves further at risk, selling her to somebody else and they can put her in the freezer, or putting her in the freezer ourselves. So if I walk over to this other cow, you can see the difference in size. She is a Holstein, cross jersey and she's much lighter framework obviously she can still hurt us if she wanted to but she's easier to handle every day she's lighter she's about a foot and a half shorter her feet are lighter her body weight's lighter so if she stands on us it's just going to hurt she's not going to guarantee a break but with that girl she eats so much food we sadly got a problem with hay this year it's not um been a good year at all for hay making so there's our option. It is, sadly, to harvest her as meat because we're not going to be able to find somebody who's just happy to have her and produce them nothing. So she's been living with us now. She's had lucerne, she's had wild meadow hay. She's never been given any grains. When the vet came and saw her, he said, uh, what have you fed her? She's like, uh, grass. She says, no, 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 you've given us something else. She's much bigger than a normal cow. She's much bigger than a cemental should be. This is part of her problem, being so huge. Maybe that's why she's infertile. So what we're going to do is transform our herd into jerseys. And over here, this is our young jersey boy. He's about three years old, I think. If you look at him, you can see the difference in size. You can see he's lighter and shorter and for us to handle that every day it's much different to handling that big mammoth creature that she is so that's our decision sadly freezer camp so what will we have to do now is as i walk back over here enjoy the scenery we've got to have the options of killing her at home because it's legal here in hungary to do that or um, send her away to someone else to do it. Now to me, the option of sending her away, loading her up in a vehicle, taking her to a slaughterhouse, <laughs> I just don't want to do that. I've been um, dispatching our own meat now for years. Must have done hundreds of pigs, sheep, um, chickens, ducks, everything. So I've been trained on how to dispatch humanely an animal. I know how to do it. I have the equipment, we have the space to do it. So that's what we're going to do. I have a captive bolt, which is a humane way to kill. You put a bullet in it and it releases a bolt of metal instantly in and out of the brain, which makes them brain dead. So you can't just use a a gun like some would do if they're hunting. You can't just use a normal humane captive bolt um, gun. You need to have the special one that's big enough to do cows, horses and larger animals. So that's what we have. We have two sizes, one for pigs and one for larger animals. 
So it's going to be a big job to do. She's been put inside, in because they're normally kept here, as you can see on the grass. She's been put inside for one night and one day to um, empty her stomachs because they're very, very hard to deal with and heavy to move. So you really need to give them a good chance to be empty overnight by not giving them extra feed. So we've done that. So now, it's, sadly, it is the time to dispatch her. And we're going to need the tractor to lift and pull. We're going to use the, the lifting tackle to lift her up in the shed. And <laughs> you just can't believe how much there is to, um, how much work there is when it's a cow to do. The insides, when you when you haul out their guts and their insides, it's so heavy. It's It's a big job. But we're going to end up with our family having a lot of quality, well-fed, well-reared, grass-fed um, beef. And it will keep our family for over a year. So that's our choice that we've made to eat meat. We eat vegetables and fruit as well, but we are a meat-eating family. So rather than putting the buck onto someone else, passing the buck, we rear the meat, we respect them, we feed them what they should have, and we dispatch them and we then appreciate what we've taken from them. We've taken their life to eat them. So therefore, we wouldn't waste any of their meat. We would be respectful of what we've done. So that's how we, as a family, take on the, the severity of eating meat. It's a serious thing. I'm just going to walk over here and show you the other cow. You might ask, what... What goes into keeping a cow? Well, it's been very easy for us. It's been grass and hay and lucerne. Very, very limited um, concentrates. Within the first year of birth, then they would have to have extra concentrated food, wheat, barley, peas to go through winter. But after that point, we just like to feed them on what nature would give them. That's real grass, real hay. They're tethered, so they... They live out on the grass here, and we, we've got a running lead. If you watch my videos, I'll show you another one, another video about how to do the tethering. Um, she's never needed the vet for any ill health. None of the cattle have, just their usual tests that have to be done yearly. And uh, they have salt lim mineral blocks to lick. But other than that, keeping a cow for meat, it's extremely good because they're reared on milk, which their mother gives them, and then they eat what's around after the first year. So it's a cheap, effective way to produce meat for your family. They produce you milk, normally, um, which she never did because she never got pregnant. So you'd put them in calf, have a year's worth of milk, have a calf, and uh, then they go in the freezer if need be. This is our Jersey cow, and you can see, look at the difference in size. She's about two years different in age to the big girl. And she's much lighter. She's a Jersey Holstein as well. Aren't you? You good girl? And that's what we need, because we're getting on. We're 45, 46, 60-something Joeys. And we don't want to be lugging around big, heavy animals that are dangerous and hard work to keep. So... Think of me today while I'm doing a job I really don't want to do. I didn't want to end up in this position and have to put her in the freezer. I'm with heavy heart having made this decision, but it seems to be the only one we've got ahead of us for her future, or lack of future on the Sodmore holding. So um, there'll be some more videos soon showing you what we do with the meat, showing you the humane killer, the captive bolt, so you can see what what you need if you need to go along this path so thanks for watching my self-sufficiency channel i hope you enjoy it ask questions like share and subscribe take care i'll go do what i don't want to do take care my lovelies bye bye